Hey y'all, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. So for today's project, I'm going to be painting this little parakeet. I got the reference image from Unsplash and I will put a link to the reference image in the description box down below. Uh, we've been considering adding a new friend, a new furry feathered friend to our family lately, um, very lightly considering. And so I've been looking at pictures of parakeets and parrotlets and I thought I would paint one and the colors seem to work well with um, the nightshade paints that I have available. So I'm going to be attempting to mix a pretty big puddle of a light green color for the body of this parrot and then I'm going to do a wash all over um, except for the head area and the feet. So let's see if we can't get a nice green. I'm going to try to use the phthalo teal and the lemon yellow. I really want to use only nightshade paints for this project, um, mostly because I like them and it's a fun challenge. I have all the primary colors. I, I don't think it should be an issue, um, especially for this painting. I think the phthalo teal would be a really nice paint to feature for this, so I'm going to do my best to use that as much as I can. So I'm going to try and mix that um, big puddle of green here. So what I'm going to do is just move some of this puddle over. I'm going to need a lighter wash. And this is just, it never hurts to add a little orange to a green when it's too bright. So we'll just mix that in. And we're going to put more water. Get us a lighter shade here. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to wet down my paper. And I do this just so that there's a lot of green in my water, so it's gonna be a little green. I do that so that I have more time to get the green paint down. And it also um, thins it out a little bit, which I kinda need, because these greens are really strong. This is just the first wash, so it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to get some color on the paper. Got too much water here, so I'm just picking up some of it. I do want to drop yellow again into this top edge. Very yellow in the photo there. Okay, I think that's good for a first pass. I'm gonna let that dry and I will come back to you in a bit. All right, I'm back, this is dry. The colors are actually really nice and dark. For a base layer, it's pretty vibrant, especially since I put water down first. I'm pretty happy with this. So I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do a gray layer on the face. So I'm going to mix just a really, I'm going to be careful here. I'm going to mix a really light gray. I'm going to use my um, ultramarine blue and a little bit of burnt sienna. It doesn't take much to get a, a light gray, so I'm going to take it easy here. That's pretty good. I really don't need much color for this. Okay, and I'm just gonna paint this over everything except the beak. So while I've got the gray on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and put some gray down here.
What I'm gonna do now is mix up a darker green for the shadows and the feathers. And what I'm gonna do is take, I've got my existing green mixes in my palette. I'm actually just gonna take some Indenthrone Blue and then we'll darken that green. So I was using uh, da Vinci Quill Size Zero. I really love this brush, but it's not quite pointy enough for detailed work. So I'm switching now to a silver black velvet size six. This is really, ooh, this is really all I need for probably the majority of this painting. So I'm going to take a little bit of that darker paint mixture and one of the things that I like to do for these feathers is I'll just go around some of these connected feather shapes and then I'll clean out my brush or I'll have a separate brush depending on how quickly I need to work. And I have a uh, I have a paper towel here that I'm using. I'm just blending out that edge. So what that does is create your feather shapes and you can even carefully go in and add some feather separations. It's a really fun method to add some depth to feathers. So I'm going to speed this up at this point and add some more feather separations just in this body area and I will come back to you when I'm done. At this point I'm ready to tackle the beak. I think I'll do an under layer and I'm going to use this color I've mixed up just to do my so this will basically end up being my highlight color for the beak. So while that dries I'm going to work on my black color. I need to mix a black for some of the wings and the feet. So I'm taking the gray mix I already have and I'm just gonna add more pigment. So this is ultramarine blue. Actually, I could add um, Indian Throne to make it a little darker probably. And then I'm going to add the burnt sienna and see how beautiful that is. That's a pretty cool gray black. So I think I'll stick with that. I like them cool. Usually I'm going to go ahead and put those darks in on the feet. Okay, so I'm going to put my dark paint down on this back area. All 
All right, I'm gonna switch focus uh, up to the face because I've got my black paint, so I might as well use it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint in the eye. And I'm seeing that there is actually some green around the eye that I missed, so I'm gonna go put that in real quick. I just realized this part here should have been white as well, so I made a mistake. Oh well. Just gonna darken this area here. Now to paint these feathers, each feather has a gradient that has green, blue, and black in it. I know it looks pretty dark, but it, it's pretty dark in the feathers too, so. Another trick I like to use if I need to bring back highlights like on the beak here because I forgot to go back and lift up. Sometimes it's easier to just get it a little bit wet and then touch that area with your white gel pen and it will blend out just like if it were white gouache, but it's easier for me. So if I needed to blend it out more, I could use my brush to push it a bit further. I think it looks pretty good. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this little cute parakeet. I hope that I was able to show off how beautiful the nightshade watercolors are. If you have any questions or comments about the painting or the paint or any of the materials or anything at all, just leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe, hit that like button, hit the dislike button, it's okay, it, it works either way. And um, I really appreciate your support. Bye.